Hi. As late as the 1960s, Central State Hospital in Georgia was the nation's largest sanitarium asylum. At peak housing, 40,000 many held against their will on 1,800 acres in Baldwin County, Georgia. Central State Hospital still exists, but on a much smaller scale, while the problem of mental illness has only grown. During the recent pandemic, 2,036 Georgians lost their lives to overdoses due to their addictions on painkillers and other narcotics. In the decades since a move away from deinstitutionalization, a majority of our mentally ill now live on the streets as homeless or are in our county jails or state prison facilities where neither the wardens or the sheriffs have the staff or the services available to deal with those needs. Thankfully now, mental health is on the way. Georgia House Speaker David Ralston and a bipartisan coalition of legislators are bringing forward HB 1013 to bring comprehensive mental health reform to Georgia, including parity required among private insurers for mental health services as you now have for your physical health, a significant expansion in the number of beds and clinics across Georgia to deal with the mentally ill population. This 74-page bill includes more than 50 recommendations of the Georgia Behavioral Health Reform and Innovation Commission. Speaker Ralston is making this the top priority of the legislative session as part of what he calls Georgia's culture of life, favoring adoption over abortion, last year expanding maternal health coverage to lower Georgia's critical maternal mortality rate, offering state employees extended services and leave time for maternity and paternity leave. These problems were, of course, decades in the making, so they will not be solved overnight. But again, thankfully, to the tune of hopefully 70 to $80 million in new spending, mental help is on the way. Take care out there. With an opinion, I'm Bill Crank.